Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Learn Technology in 5 Minutes by Makeademy. This is Teja Swini and I am a part of the instructor team at Makeademy. In this episode, you will learn how to choose the right wireless protocol for your IoT or embedded project. With technologies like IoT percolating its way into almost every industry today, there has been an increase in the demand and usage of wireless protocols used in the same. As a result, there are a variety of wireless technologies that are available for use in IoT and related projects. If you are an IoT enthusiast, you would have come across and used wireless technologies such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, and LoRa. Other than these, there are some less familiar wireless technologies such as Li-Fi, LTEM, NB-IoT, and more. Before we understand how to choose the right wireless protocol, let us first see why we need to do this. Why can't we pick a random wireless protocol for our IoT projects? Let us understand this with an example. Say you are developing a smart agriculture system and you want to deploy this on a farm in a village nearby. You decide to use Wi-Fi to collect temperature and humidity data from the sensors deployed throughout the agricultural area. While this may work perfectly well in a city with continuous access to Wi-Fi, you may not be able to get the same results in a remote rural farm. Such locations may or may not have access to a fast and reliable Wi-Fi network. Thus, choosing the right wireless protocol for specific IoT applications is very important. Having understood this, let us now look at some factors that you should consider while selecting a wireless technology. While making a choice of a wireless protocol, you are making a trade-off between the bandwidth, range, power and cost. While the bandwidth and range are decided based on the application, the cost and power consumption must be minimized as much as possible. So, based on these parameters, let us now proceed to understand which wireless protocol to use in such different scenarios. First, how much data needs to be transmitted in your project? In case you want to send large amounts of data, you can make use of Wi-Fi technology. Wi-Fi offers high bandwidth and a good range for data transmission. On the downside, Wi-Fi modules consume relatively higher power and are expensive. Alternatively, if you want to send a large amount of data and are only developing projects for academic purposes, then you can make use of the Li-Fi technology. Li-Fi or Light Fidelity is a bi-directional wireless system that transmits data through infrared light or LED. As light travels extremely fast, Li-Fi allows faster data transmissions and internet connections. Moving on, let us say you only want to transmit small amounts of data. Then the next question is, what is the range of data transmission needed? If you only want data transmission over a short range, you can make use of technologies like Bluetooth or RFID. RFID or Radio Frequency Identification, as the name suggests, makes use of radio frequency waves for communication. This can be used for very short range communications. For short range communications in meters, Bluetooth technology can be used. In case you need low latency, you can use the Bluetooth Classic. Or if you prefer to have lower power consumption, you can make use of BLE or Bluetooth Low Energy. BLE is an ideal choice for applications that do not require continuous connection but depend on high battery life. If your project needs a little more range for data transmission, and you're willing to compromise on the data rate, you can make use of the Zigbee technology. Zigbee is a low power, low data rate protocol that can be used to create personal area networks for small scale projects. Moving forward, what if we need a very long range of data transmission for small amounts of data? In this case, in what environment will the system be deployed? If your project is meant to be deployed in rural areas, the best choice of wireless technology would be LoRa. LoRa a long range wireless technology offers low data rate but long range and low power communication on the other hand if you are planning to deploy your system in an urban environment you can make use of cellular wireless technologies such as 2g 3g or 4g for small amounts of data if you want wider coverage as a trade off for narrow bandwidth you can use wireless technologies such as nb iot or ltem nb iot or narrow band iot and LTEM or long term evolution for machines are low power wide area wireless networks that are designed for IoT systems 
If you wish to learn more in depth about protocols such as NB-IoT, Bluetooth, Zigbee and LoRa, I recommend you check out the link to the video shared in the description of this video. With this, I hope you have gained a fair idea of why and how to make the right choice of wireless protocol for your future projects. That is all folks. If you like this video, smash the subscribe button and ring the bell to be updated about our future video releases.